Hi everybody, this is Rexus, and welcome back to Let's Play Croc, The Legend of the Gobbos. And on this episode we'll be entering Fossilies Freaky Donut. So let's begin. First the usual, let's see how Fossily comes to be. Don't worry Dante, you may send the last of your minions towards us even if he is just a kid. Your time is at hand. Soon we shall face! Bye Fossily. Bye. Oh Dante, I can't wait to defeat you and regain control over Gobble Island. Um, these platforms collapse straight away, so just jump across them quickly, like this. And we should be okay. Let's do the same again. And we kill that Dantini. Smash open this crate. And this crate to obtain a life. And just jump back across fast. I can't believe it hit us, but well, it's okay, we don't we don't particularly need this. We only need um this is an easy enough boss. So um we should just have five crystals should do the trick. Oh this is um another collapse fully collapsing area. So just um be careful and try and diagonal jump there to get up here. And we're almost there. Fifteen crystals, we're doing fine, we're doing fine. This boss isn't too difficult at all. Okay, to defeat this boss, let's just stand beside this switch and wait for him to um, throw a bomb and just stand on the opposite side of the switch and the bomb will walk onto the switch and hawk out one of them. I was going to say Bosley, Fossley's balloons. Do the same again. And you remember the rules of platformers, don't you folks? Every boss, every mini boss requires three hits to be defeated. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. I thought we missed it. And we defeated Fossley! Let's continue on. And Fossley the kid has returned. There is a nice balloon. What the hell is that kid doing in this castle anyway? Yeah, just walk off the edge of the donut. Yeah. Bye bye. Walk to your death. Oh yeah, <laughs> the secret level, of course. Secret level one of world four, smash and see. Let's begin. Okay, I should just point out right now. Do you remember that trick I showed you guys earlier where you smash this and pulled up to um, basically break the box and grab onto the next platform, whatever? You need to do that trick, this whole thing. You need to try and kill every enemy in this area to um, proceed to the next area, so just uh, just just do this and you should be okay. Just remember, as soon as you smash the crate, just then hold up and you should be okay. Just watch and they'll both fall in. Bye bye guys. Bye bye. Stupid Dantini. Learn to jump! And that drops the goal key so we can proceed into the next area. We have to do this um, process throughout the whole um, secret area. So it's just something to bear in mind. It's not too difficult really, being honest with yours. Just in case I figured I've never took me a good while to figure out this trick. So that's kind of the difficult part for this, in my opinion. Once you have that figured out, you're good to go. And as long as you don't jump into the holes, obviously, like I almost did. <laughs> but we're okay, we're doing well, we're doing well. Just then, um, turn around here. And just wait for it to fall in. Bye bye, Dantini, bye bye. And we get the goal key to enter the next area. Um, just do the same again. Smash this, and just wait for him to return. Climb up here. Bye bye. Let's just do the same again. Oh, wait, there's no crystals in this area, from what I remember. So uh, basically, if you get hit, you die. So just try not to get hit. Well, it's not too difficult to dodge these guys. Just jump over them or run around them. Well, not run around them, but you know what I mean. Just, just don't get hit. <laughs> And yeah, just go up this side now. Go left to the left and right before you go up the center. 
Just wait for this guy to fall in. Bye bye. Um, yeah, we just have to go to center now. Just got a bit confused there for a second. This is an evil background laugh. Just uh, smash this tree. And wait for this guy to fall in. Well, not fall in, walk, walk to his doom. And we grab the key, and we can enter the last area. Um, as you can see, if you just look straight across, the jigsaw piece just floating around over there. Um, so we're going to go straight and get it, because no point in killing these guys. As far as I know, we don't get any extra bonuses for defeating them all. So we're just going to jump over them all. Keep jumping, clock. Keep jumping. And we obtain jigsaw piece 7. What's that, croc? It looks like an island. What, what do you mean? Th there's only four islands in this world. What do you mean it looks like an island? I, I don't know. I'm sure I'll find out at some stage. All we need is one more piece to find out. So let's continue. World 4-4, Ballistic Meg's Fairway. And we'll be exploring Ballistic Meg's Fairway next time on Let's Play Croc, The Legend of the Gobbles. This is Herexis, signing out. Thanks for watching.